Yes, people, it's your boy here, the Blonde Pundit lovers, the lovers, haters, be haters. Welcome to Death the Door, the transfer news that tells you about all the ins and outs happening in the world of Arsenal and Arsenal fans. Listen, I've just got a few things to talk about here. And the first thing first is Shaka is open to leaving Arsenal. And the second thing is Ruben Diaz is open to coming to Arsenal. But there's another news which is quite interesting. It's not a transfer news. Party, Thomas Party does the Aubameyang. What are we talking about, people? What are we talking about? Okay, first things first. Shaka is going to Roma. This is the news we're hearing. I don't know how true it is, but we're hearing that he has accepted personal terms. He's reached personal terms with Roma. In the past, we, we've heard of the likes of Mourinho, who is now the coach of, uh, of AS Roma, really, really showing his admiration for, for Shaka. And Shaka also replied saying, you know, he actually sees Mourinho as a winner. He's giving a little bit of positive vibes towards Mourinho, which kind of tells you there's a little bit of something going on there. I don't know how true this is, but I've seen something um, online that a journalist said that he has agreed terms with AS Roma. Let's see if we can bring this up. His name is Nicola Shria. That is what he said, that they have accepted um, 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 term, he has accepted terms with AS Roma. We don't know how true it is, but I'm going to read it out anyways. So right here on the screen, it says, Granit Xhaka could leave Arsenal this summer. AS Roma has opened talks to sign him, but um, Gilea Rossi's first bid was 40 million plus 3 million as bonuses, which is too low for the Gunners. And they're saying that they won 25 million euros to sell the Swiss midfielders. Now, he went on to say, agreed personal terms for four Yes. Now, I don't really know how true this guy is. I don't know, but I am only going to tell you guys what I have seen on the news. That's what I'm here for. Would you guys let Shaka leave for 25 million euros? 25 million euros is probably maybe 19 million, uh, million pounds if you do the conversion. Probably there about. I'm not sure. I'm not a calculator, but this is what my, um, you know, just off the heart sort of calculation gives me. That's probably maybe around 19 or maybe 20 or something like that. Would you guys let this guy go? And we are also hearing now that Ruben Neves wants to leave Wolves. And they're saying he wants to come to Arsenal. I don't know if this is true as well, but what do you guys think about this guy, Ruben Neves? Ruben Neves apparently has spent three years, people. He's spent three years in Wolves and he's been ever present in that team. He's always a starter. He plays at least 35 uh, or 34 games every season maybe just when he's injured that's when he doesn't play he's a defensive midfielder that has a little bit of attacking um instincts in him he scores goals every season at least last season he scored about five goals he has a little bit of assists maybe two or three assists here and there but he's a defensive minded player and if this guy is coming to arsenal then there might there might just be a little bit of truth in shaka going the other you know not going the other way going to roma because i don't think um they want to sell Shaka, except of course there's a replacement. So maybe this is what is making um, um, this news circulating about Ruben Diaz seem a little bit possible. So the question now is, would you guys have Ruben Diaz as a replacement for Shaka if Shaka to leave? And do you guys believe what this journalist has said that Shaka is on his way out and he has agreed personal terms, which is a four-year contract with AS Roma? I don't know how true this is, but I would like to hear your thoughts the last thing i want to talk about which is not a transfer news apparently thomas Partey has done an oba man what do i mean guys apparently it is said that thomas Partey was sacked from the Ghanaian squad from what they were saying they are saying that the arsenal midfielder thomas Partey has been sacked from the Ghanaian camp after he turned up late for training ahead of an international friendly against morocco on tuesday they, they went on to say that the attitude of Partey, who is a deputy captain of the team, has shocked the nation and questioned his commitment and leadership role in the team. Partey was reluctant to join the, um, the Ghanaian camp despite arriving in his native country for holidays. Listen, people, I've got a picture of him here on holiday. This was apparently two days before he was supposed to be um, in the camp. He was already in Ghana and he said he was on holiday. Here's a picture. Take a look at that. Him looking cool and everything, you know, looking a fine boy, man. Fine boy pumping. No pimple, you know. He was looking great and all that. But then again, they've gone out to now quash the rumors saying that it was not true that he was not sacked. Reading on the, on the screen right now, 
This person said, I just spoke to Thomas Partey. He says he wasn't sacked by C.K. Akno from the Black Stars camp as it is being speculated by some sports journalists. He sought permission to be excused and that was granted. So who are we going to believe, people? Who are we going to believe? Are we going to believe this or are we going to believe... Um, um, the journalist, because you know, some of these journalists they just they just peddle a lot of rumors and lies, but you never really know what the truth is. So, if this guy has actually done what he's showing on the screen right now, then that is not a very good sign because obviously Obama Yang has done something similar, you know, against Totiam. He turned up late, but for whatever reason, this guy must have turned up late. If that was true, then I'm sure he will have a good reason. Thomas, for me, doesn't seem like a guy that's going to be doing that. And for him to have spoken to this, um, I don't know who this person is, whether it's a journalist or whoever the person is, saying that he was excused and probably was excused. Maybe, just maybe the journalists are trying to make him look bad. But listen, we're never really going to know the truth. At the end of the day, it's his words against the words of the people in the camp. But just as a recap here, yeah, Shaka has agreed personal terms. We don't know how true it is. But according to um, um, the journalists in Italy, they're saying that he's agreed personal terms, which is a four-year contract, and he's on his way out to Roma. And we're also seeing the rumors that Ruben, D, uh, Ruben Neves from Wolverhampton wants to come. He's already told his teammates that he wants to leave, and probably his, his final decision is going to be Arsenal. Apparently, we know this guy came from FC Porto three years ago, and um, since um, Nuno Esperanto left, who was the person that got him, I think he might be looking for a challenge elsewhere. Well, apparently, he's Portuguese. His, his former manager was Portuguese. He had a good relationship and all that. So maybe, just maybe, that's one of the reasons why he wants to leave. Who knows? Thomas Partey has been sacked, reportedly sacked, from the Ghanaian squad because he came late. We don't know how true it is, but listen, at the end of the day, I am here to give you the news. It's up by the Blum Pony lovers, the beloved, the haters, the haters. I'm out of here, guys. Talk to you guys later, and cheers. Bye.